Hi mga kanayan, this is Aurelio Isip and welcome to Isip na yan. So for today's topic, we will talk about the uh, changing the linear equation from standard form into slope-intercept form and slope-intercept form into standard form. So first, yung standard form muna. What is the standard form of linear equation? No? So if this is in the form of AX plus BY equals C, wherein the A B and C are the elements of real numbers and then A and B not both no zero. So, kailangan hindi sila parehas na zero. So ngayon, let's have an example. So x plus y equals 5. So this is a linear equation no into variables to pero naka-standard form siya where in our A here is 1 B is also 1 and C is 5. So, you will transform it into slope-intercept form. Pag sinabi slope-intercept form, ito ay Y equals MX plus B, wherein the M is our slope and the B is our Y-intercept. So, pag sinabi Y-intercept, no, kung saan siya mag-coconnect, no, mag-intersect sa Y-axis. So, ngayon, no, so paano natin yung transform to as slope-intercept form? May kita natin, no, Y equals MX plus B. So, yung Y nasa kaliwa. Tapos, lahat na nandiyan dito sa kanan. So, ganun yung gagawin natin. So, we were, we are going to add the additive inverse ng X. So, X plus negative X plus Y equals negative X. Dahil naglagay ka dito ng negative X, no? Plus 5. So, ito ay magiging 0 na lang, no? Wala na to. So, 0 plus Y equals negative X plus 5. Eh, what is 0 plus y? This is y equals negative x plus 5. So, this is our slope-intercept form. Ngayon, ang m natin dito ay may value na negative 1. Ang, ang ating y-intercept ay may value na positive 5. So, ganun pag transform. Another example, no? 5x plus 7y equals 2 negative 9. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, no? Dahil y equals mx plus b, magmamalit, magpa-plus din tayo dito ng additive inverse niya. So, 5x plus minus 5x plus 7y equals, so, minus 5x dito, or negative 5x minus 9. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, ito ay 0 na. No, wala na yan. So, 7y equals negative 5x minus 9. So, we will divide both sides by 7. Para mawala na yan, y na lang ang matitira. So, paghihiwalay natin to. So, negative 5x over 7 minus 9 over 7. So, ito yung ating slope-intercept form. So, ang ating m dito is negative 5 over 7 and b is negative 9 over 7. So, ngayon naman, no, vice versa naman, no, from slope-intercept form, gagawin natin siyang standard form. So, ito yung given. So, y equals to 5x plus 10. So, ang standard form natin, yung x, yung may kisamang x, no, nasa kaliwa natin. So, gagawin natin, lalagyan natin sa kaliwa. So, maglalagay tayo dito ng uh, negative 5x tapos plus y equals 5x plus negative 5x plus 10. Para ito ay maging 0 na lang. So, ang mangyari dyan, no, y, so negative 5x dito, plus y equals 10. No? So, this is the standard form. Pero, no, may negative pa yung x natin, no, negative 5. So, aalisin natin yan. Para, para maalis natin yan, no? So, ang gagawin natin dyan, ay eh, i-multiply natin siya ng negative 1, both side, para maging positive itong 5x. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, so negative 1 times negative 5x plus y equals 10 times 2 negative 1. So, para itong madidistribute, so itong magiging positive 5x na lang. So, positive na siya, no? Minus y equals negative 10, wherein our A is 5, B natin is negative 1, and C natin is negative 
10. So, ito yung ating standard no, form ng equation natin. So, another example, no? So, y equals to 3 over 5 x minus 4. Ang m natin dito is 3 over 5. Ang b natin is negative 4. So, ang gagawin natin, gagawin natin itong standard form. So, ang gagawin natin, dahil may denominator ka rito, no, ah, ma kailangan natin mawala yan. Para mawala yan, you will multiply both sides ng 5. No? 5 dito, and then 5 din dito. So, ito ay magiging 5y equals to 3 over 5 x minus 4. So, ito naman, mamultiply natin ito ng 5, no? So, ang mangyari dyan, kapag ganito, no? Para mawawala na ito, tapos ito naman is negative 20. So, ibig sabihin, inisin lang natin, no? So, 5y equals to 3x minus 20. Sa standard form, yung x natin nasa kaliwa. So, lalagay natin sa kaliwa yan. So, 5y, so mag maglalagay tayo ng uh, negative 3x plus 5y equals to 3x plus negative 3x minus 20. Saan nakuha ito? No, kasi nagdagdag ka rito ng negative 3x. So, magdagdag ka rin sa kaliwa. So, ang mangyari dyan, no? negative 3x plus 5y equals, ito ay wala na. Zero na yan. So, minus 20. So, ito na naman problema natin, no? So, negative yung ating x. So, ang gagawin natin, multiply tayo ng negative 1, no? Multiply din tayo ng negative 1 dito, no? So, kung minultiply natin ito, ito magiging positive 3x. Ito naman ay negative 5y equals to ne positive 20. We're in our A is 3, B natin is negative 5, and C is positive 20. No? So, that's all. No? So, sana may natutunan kayo. No? So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and pakipindot po yung ating notification bell no? para man laging updated sa mga videos ko. No? So, that's all. Good luck, soldier!